Is it because we're both girls? Senpai's voice didn't waver, but the way she avoided eye contact told me how much she feared my answer. No, it's not that. I began before pausing. Why can't I return her feelings? I ran up the stairs, running hard, chest in pain. That's a relief. Then I can keep loving you. She would keep loving me regardless. I knew that. Senpai, I... Nishikana Senpai. Sensei wants to talk to you. As Senpai was distracted, I left the room, making my way down the halls. It's not that I don't like other girls. I stumbled as I came around a corner, bumping the wall. I didn't care. I'd taken harder hits during the games. I left the school building, walking aimlessly down the path through the trees. It's because I'm afraid. I crashed into the door at the top of the stairs, before pulling it open and rushing outside. The birds chirped, the sounds of cicadas filled the air. I kept walking. I'm afraid of feeling that pain again. I leaned over the railing. I was a long way up, at the top of the town's local stadium. The stars above were the only witness to my tears. It would be the only witness to my end. I finally came to a stop at a small lake behind the school, looking at my reflection in the water. I'm absolutely terrified of falling in love again. I took a deep, shaky breath as I put a foot up on the railing, ready to climb over. My tears fell to the ground, many meters below. With one last breath, I leaned forwards, letting myself fall. Kira-chan, there you are. Oh, are you okay? I looked up to see Maki. Mm, I'm fine, I smiled. What's up? Kairi-chan and I were going to head to the cafe after school. Want to join us? Maki grinned. I chuckled. Sure, that sounds good. In the end, I don't know if I can love again. Kira! A hand grabbed my shirt and pulled me back from the rails, turning me to face the person behind me and pulling me into a tight hug. Kira, you idiot! I won't forgive you if you do that. The voice of my best friend made my body relax as I cried into her shirt, the girl whispering comforts into my ear until I couldn't cry anymore. But I won't abandon you, senpai. That's something I simply cannot do.